Can't believe Morgana sometimes. So crowded. Shut up, Morgana. It'll be a pain in the ass if someone sees you, so don't stick your head out too much, all right? You came. Um, yeah. You really came. I like the... <laughs> like, he's just like, oh, you bastards. I meant her, not you guys. What'd you expect when you left us those tickets? Make sure that you don't get in the way of the other visitors. Come now. I'll show you around. I'd like to speak more about the picture I'd like to draw, too. Well, see you guys later. Will Lady Han be all right? What if he drags her behind some painting and tries something funny? I told you not to come out! Are we really gonna appreciate the fine arts? Can't we just go home? Uh, we should look around. I want, I want to stay. Let's learn about Madarama. I guess we should do a quick pass through at once. Uh, which way are we supposed to start? Hmm? It's that old man from the other day. We continue to be truly surprised by your imagination. You have such expansive styles. It's hard to believe that it all stems from one person. Where in the world does all your inspiration come from? Well, it is rather difficult to put into words. They naturally well up from within my heart, like bubbles rising one after another in the spring. Naturally, you say. What's important is to distance oneself from worldly desires, such as money and fame. My atelier is a modest shack, but it is more than enough to pursue true beauty. A shack? I see. So the act of emptying one's mind gives rise to inner beauty. Still, to think we could hear the word shack coming from the great artist Madarame. You would understand if you saw it. <laughs> Wasn't the word shack something? Madarame-san is actually here? Over there! I'm Yo, so glad I came on opening on, day. Dude. Shit. Ugh, there's way too many people. I'm getting crushed. Anyways, we gotta head for the exit. Don't die on us, all right? I didn't know there were so many types of Japanese art. Usually, one concentrates on their own style. However, Sensei creates all this by himself. He's special. There you are, Yusuke. Sensei. Ah, the girl from yesterday. Are you enjoying the exhibit? I don't know how to put it into words, but it's really amazing. You're sensing something from the artwork. That alone is enough to give us artists satisfaction. I hope this becomes a wonderful piece, Yusuke. Well then, if you'll excuse me, You'd imagine artists would be difficult to approach. But he seems really friendly. Uh, I'm good. I'm having a good holiday. Although I'm no, I don't have the holidays off, but you know, I'm good. Indeed. Oh, this is it! The painting I wanted to see in person. This one? I guess it's the painter's anger? I'm not sure, but I sense this strong frustration from it. To think such a cheerful and gentlemanly person could make such a piece. <clears throat> Something wrong? Don't mind me. There are better pieces than this one. Come now, this way. Hey! lady totally elbowed me thanks to that I remember now uh, wait what about Ed where's my girl let's not worry about it for now it's about a post online 
here. Look at this. Is this my first time playing through it? Sorta. I had started it before, and I only got to like two months in. I think I got to like the third dungeon and never finished it. Um, so like I got through this current one that's about to come up, and then I had just got to the beginning of the next one, and then I stopped playing. Um, but since I I'm restarting it, uh, I'm just I'm going through it again. So. It's been a while, but it's uh, it's not as fresh in my mind, so it's still it's sort of new. Um, it's just refreshing what I've already seen, and then when I get to the point where I haven't seen what's coming up, then I'll let you guys know. Why'd you leave without me? You got it all wrong. We got dragged into this huge crowd, and eh, anyways, you gotta look at this too. This post might be about Madarame. What's it say? A master of the Japanese arts is plagiarizing his pupil's work. Only his public face is shown on TV. Plagiarizing? I didn't think much of it when I first saw it, but hearing Shaq and Madarame triggered it. His treatment of the pupils who live with him is awful. He teaches nothing and bosses them around. He treats them inhumanely, as if disciplining a dog. Abuse on top of plagiarism, huh? Yeah, no spoilers. I like I know what like I know what's coming up like from this this current palace that we're about to do. Um, but after the like the start of the next one, um, it's probably where like I will where it's all brand new to me. So yeah, just careful with careful with the you know, what you say about the game, because I I don't know what's past a certain point. If this is real, it'll be a huge scandal. I wonder if Kitagawa-kun posted this. It's Kitagawa, not Kitagawa. That sounds weird. I mean, he is a pupil of his. Who knows? It's anonymous and all. In that case, it's possible the Madarame we heard about in Mementos is referring to the same one. Man like that doing such a thing? I wonder if we can ask that shadow from earlier about this. Oh, actually, we just need to talk to him in reality. And how are we gonna go about that? Are we gonna explain it all, starting with mementos? Besides, if we make a move out in the open, there's the possibility that Madarame will find out. Oh, yeah, right. Hey, what do you think about Madarame? Doesn't he seem suspicious? Uh, yeah. I know, right? This all fits way too well to just be a coincidence. If this post is legit, ain't this the kind of target we've been waiting for? Well, yeah, but is it really true? By the way, what did you do about the whole modeling thing? Kitago Akun gave me his contact info and the address to his sensei's atelier. He said he lives there, right? Perfect timing. Let's try going tomorrow. We're off to Madarame's house right after school. Huh? You want me to model tomorrow? This is too sudden. What? We're just gonna go talk to Kitagawa. Oh, God. I don't know why, it just it irks me the way they say some of these names. Like I get I get it. Like like it it might pre I don't even know if that's how you pronounce it in the original Japanese. But to me I see that and they say Kitagawa and I'm like it looks like it's it's pronounced Kitagawa. Ah, I I don't know, that's it's a little it's a little bit of a pet peeve for me to hear it, things pronounced wrong, even though I, I might pronounce things wrong myself, but I don't know. That's just me. I, it, it doesn't bother me too much, but just a little bit. Oh, that's what you meant. Okay. Oh my God, I swear to God, Morgana, you better not tell me I have to go to sleep. In any case, we need to find out if that rumor about Madarame is true. 
If it is, it might be exactly what we needed. My plant is dying, okay, Morgana? Can I at least feed the plant? Oh. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Let me feed the plant. Nice. These are cheap, but it's far better than giving you nothing. Yeah, my kindness. <gasps> oh, yeah. My kindness goes up, but my knowledge doesn't go up even though I specifically kept studying. Bastards. All right. now I'm considered now I can go out with with I can go out with Anne. Oh. That should do it for now. Okay, can we at least watch the movie? Do I have anything that makes me smart? I want to be smart. Hey. No. Shh. Oh my God, Morgana! Shut up! Shut up, Morgana! I don't want to go to sleep. It's still early. I want a movie. Ooh. Oh, it is Sunday. Four back the protein. Okay. Oh my god, I almost missed that. Oh, go for it. There you go. You got plenty of monies. Yes, another. Oh god, I almost missed that. Try to get. Yep, I gotcha. But can I watch my movies? Oh my god, can I work out? No! No! I don't want to go to sleep, Morgana. Shut up! Well, then. Let's call a day on your face. God, Morgana is like is so freaking annoying. It's probably never gonna end. She's gonna be like that, like the whole game. I know I said she, but it's because Morgana. It's a Morgana's a girl's name, and it sounds oh, like a girl. Yes. Oh yeah, the great artist Madarama is holding an exhibition in Shibuya right now, isn't he? I've gone to see his work a number of times. Goodness, are they magnificent. The moment I saw them, I knew he was something else. By the way, you seem far removed from the arts, Kurisukun. Huh? Here's a question. Do you know who created the piece which sold for the highest price back in the 20th century? Uh... Oh no! Is it, oh, is it, is it Picasso or is it, it's not Madarame. Is it Van Gogh? I think it's Van Gogh. Is it Picasso? Picasso, Picasso. Uh, uh, oh, Van Gogh. Oh, uh, uh, please be Van Gogh. Oh, yes! Yes! That's correct. It seems you know a thing or two after all. Watch this, watch this be the thing that raises my knowledge. And I only needed like one more thing. That piece was purchased for the equivalent of 18 billion yen, and it sold for even more later. However, since the turn of the 21st century, a new record has been set practically every year. No oh my god, he knew the freaking answer. Oh my god, he's so freaking high, I can't take it. Oh shoot, the teacher's glaring at us. Nice well, you guys are really smart to be able to answer a question like that. Oh, please tell me that raised my knowledge. Oh my god, I needed one more. And I would have, I might have done better on the test. God dang it. At least All I'm right. level two now. Ugh. People put a serious amount of passion and money into art. If I had that kind of money, I wouldn't mind having a painting or two myself. <laughs> hey, hey. Seems like art can make you tiny sum. Let's see if our own eyes whether or not the accusations of him stealing art are true. You're meeting Lady Anne and the others at the train station, right? Let's go and class this out. You apparently run my life, Morgana. I can press the network button and see what other people answered? Really? I didn't know I could do that during the, during the actual question? Really? Oh, I didn't know that. Phantom Thieves going by train. This ain't different from how I get home from school, you know. The train is the fastest way to go. Plus, we can bring pets on here. No! Hey, who are you calling a pet? Dude, be quiet. We didn't pay the pet fare. I'm the one guiding you to your destination. You should be calling me master. Hey! <gasps> oh, kitty! Uh, shoot. Is that your pet, mister? I heard him meowing. Uh, it's a stuffed animal. 
Yeah, it's just a toy. It meows when you press on its head. Hey, you heard it, Zero. Press on its head. This is what you. Well, we again, again. Time to button mash. Yeah! <laughs> 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 That's so funny. I went here again. I just threw up my mouth. Seriously? The next stop is Shibuya. Shibuya. Doors will open on the left side. <laughs> this is our stop. Well, see you later. Bye bye. <laughs> mm, oh, bye bye. Go to your parents, kid. Morgana's gonna be sick. You know it, but you know that's payback for Morgana. That's for everything you've done, Morgana, till now. So, which line do we gotta transfer to? Doesn't look like there's any stations close to my, to that address. If anything, this is the closest station. For real? What? Then we gotta walk the rest of the way? What kind of phantom do you take the train? And then walk to their destination? Stop your complaining. Shut up, Morgana. It's supposed to be a shack, but this is the neighborhood he lives in, as expected of a famous artist. Okay, let's get Looks like the fastest route is to the station square, then to Central Street. Let's move. Uh. Check rumors about Madarame at the Madarame's house. I guess? It says it's only. Oh. Station Square. Oh my god. <laughs> I can't believe. I can't believe Morgana sometimes. Oh, you think about buying some lottery tickets? Hell yeah. No, shut up, Morgana. I want to play the lottery really quick, okay? Oh my god, Morgana. Wait. Um. Wait. Oh, okay. That was that was right. Guru Kamashita, former Olympian, teacher at Shujin Academy. Reason for turning himself in is uh, a heavy conscience, huh? The human mind doesn't change that easily. Let alone their natural temperament. <sighs> Shujin Academy. Seems doubtful. Perhaps I'll have someone look into it. Just in case. Is that it? We're at the right address. The door plate does say Matarame. Uh, you ring the bell. Me? The walls won't collapse when I do, will they? No one sneeze or we'll blow this house down, okay? <laughs> Who is it? Sensei is currently. Um, it's Takamaki. I'll be right out. People really do live here. Takamaki. You two are here as well? Hey. Sorry, but uh, we ain't here to talk about the modeling thing. There's something we gotta ask you. Is it true Matarame's plagiarizing stuff? He's abusing people too, yeah? Are you serious? We read about it online. This? <laughs> Preposterous! Not only is the plagiarism impossible, but abuse? If he hated children so much to harm them, he would never allow pupils into his home. And I'm the one residing here and studying under him. I'm saying it's not true, so it's beyond doubt. You might be lying about it. That... That is utter rubbish. I had no family when Sensei took me in and raised me into what you see now. 
If you continue to ridicule the man I owe my life to, you will rue this day! You really think that? Yusuke? What's the matter? I heard you yelling. These people are slandering you with baseless rumors! Forgive them, Yusuke. They must have heard some bad rumors and came in worry for their friend's safety. <sighs> Understood, Sensei. Well, even I doubt that a cranky old man like myself could be liked by everyone. That's not what we meant. I'm sorry to have butt in on your conversation. However, I do have neighbors around. Won't you please keep it down? Now, if you'll excuse me. <clears throat> that was discourteous of me. I'm sorry. I know. I think you'll be able to believe in Sensei if you saw that painting. It's his maiden work, as well as his most representative piece. It's titled Sayuri. Sayuri? This was the painting that inspired me to become an artist. It's so beautiful. I don't know all this fine art stuff, but even I can tell that this is impressive. When I first saw you, I felt the same powerful emotion as when I saw this painting. Me? I wish to pursue beauty like this. And I believe drawing you will be part of that pursuit. I implore you, seriously consider my offer. I'm sorry that you took the time to come all this way, but I must assist Sensei today. I hope that we can discuss this further another time. If you'll excuse me then. Those two seem like nice guys, don't they? Maybe the Matarame we heard about in Mementos is a different person. Man, right when we thought we found a new target, too. How's the MetaNav? Oh! Hey, the app! Was it picking up our conversation? This display... It means that Matarame has a palace, too, right? But why? Matarame? Plagiarism? And then Shaq, huh? These seem to be the keywords. For real, though, what the hell's going on? Does an old man like him really have a palace? We have the person's name and the location. All that's left is the what that Madarame mistakes the Shaq for to enter his palace. You mean, like how Kamoshida thought the school was his castle? That's right. Let's try saying some things. They can be random guesses. It's a bit sudden, though. Why don't we start with castle? No candidates found. Then what about prison? No candidates found. Ah, what a pain! Jail, a warehouse, and guidance counseling office. Might as well add farm. No candidates found. <laughs> a single hit. <laughs> Should we come back another time? A building that's related to artists. If we think from there, what would it be? Museum. Beginning navigation. Beginning navigation? Whoa, really? Come on, he's an artist who likes his work displayed. Museum. Why would they go for farm? Why would he think farm before museum? When did you read the Navi? The Nav, you surprised me. I didn't have much of a choice. I think we just happened to get it right. What if I hadn't noticed? And then Water Dolphin got caught by an enemy. Come on. He probably would have figured it out once he started walking on two legs. Uh. Hey. So even you could slip into the metaverse without realizing it, Morgana? Yep. In a place with minimal cognitive distortion, the differences can be subtle. Forget that, look! That shack is seriously some kind of museum. Hey! Let's go check it out! It's 
so extravagant to the point that it's gaudy. It's a museum, right? This is Matarame's? A palace is a scenery driven by desires. Just like how Kamoshida's palace was a castle. Matarame's artwork is on display at museums in reality too, though. His exhibit was popular, and people already respect him. Why would he fantasize about a museum? You got a point. It ain't related to plagiarism or abuse, either. Let's try looking around. Racking our brains here won't do us any good. Right. That aside, ain't a museum a must for phantom thieves? Uh, they're probably traps too. Yeah, all those old man's fans were super strong and all. That has nothing to do with this. But man, just look at that insane crowd. Well then, time for to begin our infiltration. Ugh, are we gonna have to wait in that gigantic line? Don't be stupid. We're not going in the front door. There's a high wall around the building. We'll just have to find our way up it, over it then. In any case, let's get going. Okay. Where do I? I'm going to that obvious block right here. Climb up. Ugh. See now, is it my is it my transform state that lets me like hop over things, or could I actually do that in like yep. real life too, like without the metaverse? Is this really how he thinks of that rundown shack? It's overwhelmingly shiny. It's just not hitting me that this is the old guy's palace. That's why we're here, right? Come on, let's go check it out. Uh, where the hell am I? Oh, there's a freaking guy right there. I can't fight him though, it's probably just, it's just a, a placement. Uh, I gotta go through. I gotta go to the garden. But what can I destroy? Oh, yes. <gasps> that thing. <laughs> Sooty kettle. You know, I. Damn, I need to go to the freaking. The armory. It's somewhere. Ooh. I need to go to the armory. I need to sell this stuff. And I need to freaking see if I can upgrade yet. See, like, this is what, so see, the only the floor turns, like, into this, like, gel when you run, like, the weird paint look effect. So, like, in the opening, like, the opening area of the game, when you first start the game, um, you're running around and you're seeing this. So, like, where I got caught and where I'm being interrogated, I feel like that's going to be someone's, someone's metaverse, and I'm just intentionally being interrogated, because... Why would I be caught, like, why would if I ran, you know, when you run around in the real world in this game, it doesn't have this effect, so, if I was caught in that world or whatever, that means I wasn't actually caught, I'm still stuck in a, someone's dungeon. That looks like that. But like I said, no spoilers, well, we'll get there, we'll figure it out. But that's, right now, that's my, that's my thought about hey. that. Oh, the skylight's open. I think we can get in here. But it's pretty far drop. Will we be able to get back out this way? <laughs> Don't worry. I have a rope. It's our tool specialist. I'm our tool specialist after all. So what? So what's your call, Joker? You want to head inside? Hell yeah, let's do this. It probably has something to do with the metaverse and perception as well. <gasps> Strongly doubt you could jump all around like Mario. Oh yeah. How suspicious. It's quiet. Almost too quiet. Hey, this, it's moving. Come on, we're in a palace. That ain't anything to be freaking out about. Hmm, the palace reflects its ruler's heart. We may want to check these paintings out. <sighs> what can I destroy in here? That thing, and that thing up there. Plastic <laughs> frame. Ugh. Screw your art. Hmm? Oh, hey, there's some kind of explanation here. Let me see. Someone's name and age. What the hell? It can't be the title of the painting, right? Do you think it's the artist's name? 
Let's check the other paintings too. I think there might be something important about them. I'm curious about the other paintings too. Come on, let's go look. No! But this this is one of them. I'll go into the next room. I can't even get into the next room. Oh. This. Oh, they're oh, I remember they're gonna add new stuff to this one. I remember because I remember these traps. I had to dodge, dive, duck, dive, and dodge. Another. It's got the name and the age on the plaque. Uh, this one has a full name. <gasps> Wait, I can see it. Ah, screw your stuff. Couch. Focus. Ugh. Bad sculpture. <laughs> Ugh. Sign mug. Stealing all your stuff. Hey. Hey, this doesn't make any sense. Monorama is famous for having a variety of art styles. But all the portraits on display here look the same. This is way different from what was at the. Wait a sec. Ain't this guy we saw in Mementos? You know the one who was shit talking Madarame? Natsuhiko Nakonahara. His name's written on the plaque. Dude, I don't get it. Why is there a painting of him in here? And more important, why is his name written under it? You're right. Doesn't art usually have like the title of the pieces or the artist's name? This is quite the mystery. All right, let's keep looking around for now. I don't know. I don't remember what the guy looked like. Uh, that's the only one that stands out, though. Focus. Ugh. Hmm. I know that wasn't one, but I wanted to smash it anyways. Huh? What? No way. Hey. Hey, isn't this the painting of that guy? It says Yusuke Kitagawa. There's no mistaking it. Huh? Oh, wait a second. What do you think these paintings are? Madarami's people. I think you're right. What? For real? All of them? But it was only Yusuke when we went to his place before. This must be include former pupils as well. Only one remains now. Taking into account that Nakohara guy said earlier, things are getting clearer. Hmm. Alright, let's keep investigating. We need something to further confirm our deductions. I don't want to smash that pot though. It's somewhere. Let's see. This kind of looks like I can climb up that, but. I have something. Let's see. Seems to be some kind of pamphlet here. Hmm? What's up? You find something? We're here to investigate, so you should check everything that catches our attention. Thank you for to this. A chest! What catches about my this. attention is this chest right here. Protect mask. You know what? Let's see what I got. Um accessory. So I got the breath adds a breath of life to any outfit? No. Muscle anklet, no. Protect mask. Attachment pearl. Just calming mask. Song. Where is this confused? I guess. No, I'm just gonna stay with my my team glasses. Get that EXP from battle. That's more important to me. It's somewhere. Okay, I could go for that, but you know what? I got keys. I have six. I made sure to bring a lot of keys this time. Yeah, girl, look at what's in this chest, girl. Oh, it's a training whip, girl. But I already got you one. Okay, we'll sell that. The pamphlet. Is this a pamphlet? This is getting way too detailed for a freaking palace. Why do you bother making something like this? Oh, there's a museum guide on here. Let's take it with us. Yeah, you might even show us the location of the treasure. Nice. That is a possibility. 
the very least, it should be a good reference for the scale of this place. Huh? The map only shows us half the museum. I see, it says it's one out of two. Then the two's out of two's gotta be around here somewhere, right? So how big is this place? Don't worry about that another time. But now our objective is to look is looking into Madarami's cognition. We may have to reconsider our plan depending on what we find. I mean, he's got a palace. It seems pretty fishy to me. Who's talking? I hear someone talking. Oh, it's the whatever it's the chick talking. See anything breakable? Okay, that's it. Ah. Hmm. Oh, I had to do that. Look at this. The Infinite Spring? A conglomerate work of art that the great director Madarame created with his own funds. These individuals must offer their ideas to the director for the rest of their lives. Those who cannot do so have no worth living? Hey, this is most likely about the plagiarism, right? Damn it, what a phony geezer. In other words, his pupils are his property. He doesn't even qualify as an artist if this is true. He's stealing the ideas from talented students in exchange for securing their livelihood. I wondered about those portraits on display. They must all be his pupils through his cognition. This even says that they have no worth. Couldn't this be about the abuse? Madarame will keep them around as long as they're useful to him. But the moment they're not... He's treating them like slaves or tools! Why is Yusuke keeping quiet about this? He's got no reason to cover this up! He did say that he owes Madarame his life for being taken in. But still! When we were at the exhibit, I praised one of the pieces on display. But... Kitagawa-kun acted strange. Maybe that piece was plagiarized too. What's the call? Ain't this enough to target Madarame? Yeah. Let's do this! That's what I'm talking about! Hold on, you two. We should confirm these facts with Yusuke once more. No! Confirm what, though? It means we should get solid evidence that such crimes actually took place. What a pain in the ass. Besides, there's too much we don't know about Madarame yet. Well, if we keep going, we'll learn more stuff, Morgana. Dang! Mm, you're right. I'll try contacting Kitagawa-kun. I might be able to get the truth out of him if I accept his modeling offer. Wait, you're gonna do that? You all better come with me, okay? I'm scared to go alone. A famous, renowned artist, huh? Wow, oh, this might be tougher than Kamoshida. Well, we'll just prep ourselves until we get confirmation from Yusuke. This is our first mission as real Phantom Thieves. We're gonna succeed no matter what! Mm. Oh, no, tell me you're, not, you're gonna force me to sleep, Morgana. The reason why Yusuke is hiding the truth, huh? Would you really forgive someone unconditionally if you owe your life to them? I'm not so sure anymore. What are you bringing this up for? According to Kitagawa-kun, Matamatamami isn't a problem. Uh, is something wrong? Yeah, a little. I mean, I know Matarami is a bad person, but still. Maybe I'm so hesitant because I haven't actually met any of his victims. Yeah, I guess that part is totally different from what happened with Kamoshida. This might be an extreme line of thinking. But if an evil person isn't causing any trouble now, is there really a point in us stepping in? Well, you got a point. So we're gonna let Yusuke decide if Madarami is worth going after or not. I don't know, if it were me, I'd never forgive that bastard. Let's see how Yusuke feels. Yeah, I guess we could talk some more after that. Okay, let's meet in Shibuya after school tomorrow. 
No. Please tell me I can leave. Shut up, Morgana. Hey. No. Hey. Oh my God! Please. Oh, let me just push Morgana down the stairs, please. She'll survive. Just let me let her push her around a little bit, please. Making me go to bed when I don't want to go to bed. Yo. Hey, it's me. What's up, bro? Just can't forgive Matarami, but what Ann said made me think. To Yusuke, are we just a bunch of thugs? Nah, bro. Nah, we're just we're just trying to help him out, you know. <laughs> You're right. We're helping. I'm gonna make him pay. It ain't like he thinks it, it is. Pisses me off just thinking about it. Good people have to put up with so much crap while shitty adults do whatever they want. Makes me sick. I'm not wrong, am I? Uh, we'll take them down, bro. Yeah. Oh yeah. Don't tell Anne I called you. By the way, seriously. See ya. We'll see you tomorrow. Sorry, bro. What's up between bros stays between bros. Unless you're trying to take my girl. Uh, I you know, I, I haven't been to the store in a while. I need to, I need to go freaking turn all the stuff I found in the dungeon. Alright, Conte, I think... Uh, God, every time I see that name. Alright, Conte, I think Kitagawa about modeling for him. Still waiting for his response. Thanks. I really have no idea what I'm supposed to do as an art model, though. Uh... <laughs> Just be yourself, girl. Just be you, girl. It's actually kind of hard. Look, you don't gotta go all out for this. You're only doing this so you can get dirt on Matarame, remember? That is true. Sound like Kitagawa wants this to be a private picture of this, though. Well, I guess I'll let you guys know when you contact me again. You're right in front of me, girl. Just turn, look back and just be like, whisper. Whisper those sweet nothings into my ear, girl. Hey! I got a response from Kitagawa kun. He said he wants me to come over after school today. Perfect. He probably changed his plans immediately just so he could get you over there. Oh. Uh, we need to find out what Kitagawa kun, if what we saw in the palace was true. Hmm. Hey, quiet down. That student council president. Come on, man. Yikes. She's got a hold of Mishima today. It'd suck if she noticed us. Come on, let's split up. Okay, see you later. She probably already saw us, though. Alright. Fine landed a big target. Come on, let's go get some dirt on Matarame. But, man, ends late. Sorry. I was thinking about some things and didn't notice how much time had passed. Thinking about what? Hey. Don't you think Kitagawa kun has this has to be protecting Monorame? I mean, they live together, so he'd have to be aware of Monorame's true nature. The only reason I could think of for him doing that is that Monorame has something on him. Yeah, that's weird. Wait. But that's why we're going to check it out, right? You be ready. You ready to be a model? Yeah, I'm prepared. What do you mean prepared? Prepared for what? Hey. Something seems different about her to you. Uh definitely. Something uh, wrong with you, girl. What's why you change your mind all of a sudden? You're totally right. Hmm? I'm the same as always. Huh? Well, let's get going. Gotta talk to Yusuke. Kitagawa kun really seemed really happy when I agreed to be his model. Okay, let's Once he go. finishes drawing and gets a little friendlier, we should bring him Matarame. Yo, Furious! Thanks for the, thanks for the follow, dude. Oh crap! I can't tell if he, I can tell if he's just talking now. I thought it would be, thought it would just be you coming. Wouldn't you get nervous too if it was just the two of us? Oh, he, he actually did. I couldn't hear because the alert went off. <laughs> uh, well, I'll let him speak. 
We're here to keep an eye on you, so uh, don't try anything perverted, okay? Stop making such odd assumptions. I have absolutely no interest in her as someone of the opposite sex. Huh? Is there a problem? No, not really. Well then, let's get started. Yeah, thanks for the follow, dude. Welcome to the Grunties. Hold on, let me, hold on. There you go. Join the Discord. Talk with the other Grunties. Hey. Kitagawa-kun? I'm Peyton, girl. You hear her? <laughs> it's no use. This isn't what we planned. We were gonna catch him off guard and make him spill his beans, weren't we? How were we supposed to know this was gonna happen? Guess we just gotta wait till he's done. What an effing pain in the ass. Perhaps I should try going outside this room. Uh, don't get caught. Hm. Who do you think you're talking to? You know it's weird because he should be hearing Morgana meowing, because when she when she's talking, she everyone else hears that as meowing. So, you know, don't you think in this small room that he would be hearing the meowing? You know, because I'm pretty sure it's not. There's nothing going on, like music or anything. So he should be hearing like, what the hell is that meow? This is too boring. So I'm going to scout around a bit. Hmm. Oh, you're gonna talk to the other scenes? You're not gonna talk? Okay. It's weird how flashy that door is. And is that a lock? Door with a hefty lock. What could be in there? Why don't you use your claws to try to pick the lock? Are you done? It's no good. What? I'm sorry. Am I the problem? No, not at all. It's just... I'm having trouble staying focused today. I'm sorry, but we'll have to resume this another time. Oh, hell no! How many hours do you think you made us wait? I'm sorry. We had another reason for seeing you today. We needed to talk to you. It's about those rumors regarding your sensei. This again. And that painting I saw at the exhibit. You're the one who actually painted it, right? That's... I knew it. Your sensei's seriously messed up. He just thinks of his pupils as tools. That's why he doesn't give a damn whether he steals their work or physically beats them. I'll make this clear. There's no point in hiding stuff from us. <laughs> I have no idea what you're talking about. You couldn't go against him, could you? I'm sure we can help you out, though. Stop it. It's just as you all say. We're our sensei's artwork. Don't misunderstand me, though. I offered my ideas to him myself. As such, it can't be called plagiarism. Sensei is simply suffering from artist's block right now. Dude, still! <sighs> Kitagawa-kun? Then why are you sticking around? All his other pupils ran away. Aren't you the only one left? What's wrong with a pupil helping out his master? There are no victims here. Stop pushing your self-centered righteousness on me. You're okay with this? Ah, hit a nerve. I'm supporting Sensei as his pupil. Where's the wrong in that? Don't ever come here again. If you do, I'll sue you for causing a disturbance. Okay, we need to get out of here. I've already been sued once. <laughs> Hold it! We're not done talking here! 
then you leave me with no choice. Hey! I'm reporting you to the police. I asked Hakamaki-san to be my model today, but I don't recall ever calling you two here. What the F, man? Ryuji, stop it! Calm down, okay? Damn it! I won't report you, but only under one condition. What's that? I want you to continue being my model, Takamaki-san. But you said that it wasn't working out today. That's because I was unconsciously being modest for your sake. However, I have nothing to worry about anymore. If you're willing to bear everything to me, I will put my heart and soul into creating the best nude painting ever! What?! Nude?! Ah... Uh. To think I'd be able to create a nude painting with my most ideal model. Of course, you two won't be allowed in, and I ask that you forget about our discussion today as well. If I don't submit a new piece to Sensei soon, there will be some... inconveniences. Nude? Meaning it'll be without any clothes, right? Why are things suddenly escalating like that? Because those are my terms. No! No one sees that naked except me! I didn't say that. Ain't that bad? Since he is out during the afternoon while the art exhibit is on, so I can use this place freely, I should buy more art supplies. Will you give me a second here? Uh, of course. I'm willing to wait. I'll make time according to your plans, but please come before the exhibit ends. Sensei will be returning home soon. We're done for today. Takamaki-san, I'll be waiting for you to contact me. No, no, no! We are not done talking here! Hey, what should we do? Cut. We have to leave. Yeah, damn it. He got us good this time. Don't give up so easily! I won't give up on you, girl. But got her balls in a wrench right now. Is she done being a model? A cat? You moron. He's totally out of his mind. I'm gonna have to pose nude if this keeps up. How dare that Yusuke. The way he said it? It's not going to be semi, but full-on nude. Uh, 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 full nudity? Uh, Lady On's gonna... Drop it! You know, you won't have to worry about that if we make Madarame confess before the exhibit ends. But Kitagawa-kun thinks he owes his life to him. Is there a need to make Madarame confess? Then, Lady On, you're fine with bearing it all? I am not! Madarame's no different from Kamoshida. That asshole's using Yusuke who doesn't have parents. You're telling me we should just ignore how he's being treated horribly like the other pupils? No. It is frustrating to leave this alone, even if Kitagawa-kun is fine with it himself. You can't leave it be because you've endured a lot yourself with Kamoshida. Yeah. Anyways, we gotta go after this guy. Madarame is the kind of target we've been waiting for. Let's help Yusuke come to his senses too. Before he ends up like us. Right. We need to look into Madarame first. There might be tons more stuff that hasn't been exposed yet too. It may become easier for us to investigate his palace if he's preoccupied with his exhibit. Also, there's the thing about me modeling. Kitagawa-kun said there'd be inconveniences unless he submits a new piece. Maybe that's going to be announced soon as Madarame's next work. Does that mean the whole country's gonna see you nude? Ah, uh, 
not are you not confident Anne? because you look good girl what are you saying I'm uh, no I mean that's not what this is about we must deal with Matarame no matter what before his exhibit ends let's start after school tomorrow oh it'll be a pain if Miss President finds us on the rooftop again so uh, where to meet up let's see I guess that walkway-like place in Shibuya would work. It's near Madarama's place, too. Changing our hideout periodically, huh? That's a plan I don't mind backing. Gareth moved from the Shujin Academy to the Shibuya Tokyo Building Access Way. Hey, uh, can I talk to you kids for a sec? Huh? From the looks of things, you don't seem like the ordinary stalking fans. Uh... Oh, sorry. I should have been more clear. I'm actually looking for people that know Madarame's pupils. There's this painting, Sayuri, that was supposedly stolen in the past. But there's this rumor that it was taken by one of his pupils in retaliation for being abused. Have you heard anything about that? Uh, we don't care about art. Uh, Ryuji knows. Me? I don't know nothing. I see. There's no case unless there's a victim, and if there's no proof of abuse, I can't write either. Looks like I'm back to square one. Sorry for taking your time. I'm a journalist. If you ever get any leads, mind contacting me here? See you then. Sure, camera-wearing girl whose name I don't know yet. I guess we should go home for today. No. No, I can stop by the shop before I go home. It's on the way. It's on the way. No, not evening. Oh my god, my god, no, don't you dare. Whatever, I still can't forgive him. Demanding to pay Lady Anne nude and then claiming to report us to the police? Hello? Hey, it's me. Got a minute? I have some interesting news. Oh, Actually. yeah, please tell me I can go outside right now. Someone who received a change of heart contacted me on the fan site. He said he wanted to meet with you to discuss another person who needs a change of heart. Uh, another change of heart? You better off talking to him in person if you want specifics. All I know is his target is a terrible person, and that it might be compli it might complicate things if you post the name online. I have him wait for you at Shibuya Station after school. Guy's name is Nakunohara. Hmm. Nakunohara. That's the Monorami student. I told him to approach you. See you. Good luck. Oh, uh, but I want to go to the store now. I found out something about the insane or something insane about Monorami. Sounds like a student he off. Hold on. Sounds like a student of his offed himself when he couldn't speak up about Monorami stealing his work. That's unforgivable. That journalist was looking into Monorami too. It could be real. Someone died, though. No one's talking about it. I bet it was covered up. I wonder if Kitagawa Kira... Kira... kun has heard anything. It'd be great if he could help us out. Ain't that asking a bit much? After today, he'll probably gonna be on edge about us. Anyway, well, anyway, Matarami's still a piece of crap. Let's meet up tomorrow. It'll be our first time at the new hideout. Is that the passageway in Shibuya, right? I got it. See you guys tomorrow. Mm. If the rumor is about rumor Yuji just spoke of is true, then there has to be other victims. Oh, please tell me I can leave. No, I can't leave. Oh, it would let me move, I think. Hey. No, Morgana. No, damn it. My plant's, plant's not dying. I can't do jack. There should be something I can do before I go to sleep. I feel like I feel like it, we've gone through like ten days of nothing, like plot. It feels like ten days. It hasn't been ten days, but it feels like I've gone through like ten days of nothing because Morgana's being a pain in the ass. Shut up, Morgana. Stop it. Ugh. No other Persona game had had Morgana had a Morgana like character in it that was telling me no, you can't go to sleep. Or you can't do anything. Go to bed. <laughs> <laughs>
No, not my mom, Morgana. Stop it. Starting today, new hideout is the walkway in Shibuya, okay? Speaking of Shibuya, didn't Mishima say Nakunohara would be there now, too? Uh, no, I gotta hit the store first. I need to see if there's any gear I can get. Yo. Oh. Oh, he said yo. Oh, I thought they were gonna talk now. We're about to head to the, new, to the hideout, too. Mm -hmm. Who's that? Uh, excuse me. That's not gonna hurt. She told us about meeting him here in Shibuya today. For real? Um. My name is Nakunohara. Natsuhiko Nakunohara. The one who posted about the Phantom Aficionado website. He seems pretty nice. Doesn't he seem like the stalker type? I think that change of heart might must have worked. The administrator of that website contacted me. They told me to look for someone in the Shujin uniform with a cat. Hmm. So, what do you want? You may have already heard, but... There's someone I wish to trigger a change of heart in. An artist by the name of Madarame. Hey. Oh, you think this is it? Is the people gonna confess his master's secrets? His shadow did mention Madarame as well. I am on Madarame's former pupils. He gave me lodging at his home, where I thought only about art. I genuinely wanted to be an artist. There was another people as well. Very talented man, multiple years my senior. Obviously, Madarame kept tabs on him. Everything he made was claimed as Madarame original. He wasn't the only victim, though. Huh. Alright, we got some real proof of the plagiarism. In response to Madarame's actions, that senior people committed suicide. Huh? Suicide? He must have been unable to bear seeing his work praised under Madarame's name. That was when I disobeyed Madarame's pleas and left. But he quickly pressured other parts of the art world, and my life as a painter was destroyed. I tried to turn over a new leaf, working as a ward at a ward office, but it was no use. My attachment to art warped my emotions. Soon I began getting attached to everything. So in the end, I even turned into a stalker. <laughs> I'd like to ask again, please, make Madarame have a change of heart. Not only for me, it's to save the life of another man as well. Save their life? Even now, there's still one young man remaining under Madarami's tutelage. I think he's about your age. Hmm. That has to be Yusuke. Not only is he a talented artist, he also owes Madarami for taking him in after his mother passed. He's the perfect target. <clears throat> So Yusuke's got no choice but to listen. I actually spoke to him a few times back when I was still living at Madarame's. I asked him if he found it painful to stay with Madarame. And you know what he said? If I could leave, I would. Kirikawa-kun. I have no right to say this given my prior cowardice. But I don't want to see another suicide. I'd like to find a way to save this young man. He has a bright future ahead of him. Please consider that when thinking about changing Madarame's heart. Hey, hey! We've been asked to act directly on behalf of one of Madarame's victims. Sounds like we don't have the time to deliberate whether or not to change Madarame's heart. You're right. Let's save Yusuke. Hell yeah! Madarame's just a piece of shit who preys on the weak. Suicide. I'll never let something like that happen. Plus, we finally got to hear how Kirikawa kun really feels. Okay. Well, since we've reached a unanimous decision, how about we continue this at our new hideout? I don't want to go. I uh, know. I don't want to go to the dungeon today. My fellow this thieves, hideout sucks. Welcome to our new hideout. No, it sucks, Morgana, and you suck. Our target this time is Matarame. Yo, Greg, what's up, dude? We all saw that palace. We'll pay dearly if we assume it's just going to be like the last one. And furthermore, Lady An's chastity is on the line. What? We'll need to do what we did with Kamoshida. First, we secure an infiltration route in the palace. After that, we send our calling card. 
Once the treasure has materialized, we steal it. Oh, oh, I got a question. Uh, Madarame doesn't know that we were doing stuff in the palace yet. Why are we already getting treated like criminals in there? You're learning, Ryuji. Well done. It must be because he doesn't trust anyone. Any unknown person may as well be an enemy. Or maybe he's just super salty from all those rumors that have been spreading about him. Then his palace being so crazy had nothing to do with us? Either way, we should stay on our best behavior. It'll be harder for us to steal the treasure if we needlessly increase the security level. We need to be careful of Kitagawa-kun this time, too. I'm sure that whatever he sees will just get passed on to Madarame. That's right. Hey, what is Madarame's treasure going to look like anyway? Another crown? I doubt that. But my sixth sense will know when I see it. Oh yeah, you go completely nuts, huh? Our time limit is when the exhibit ends, right? That means... June 5th. We'll carry out the plan after we've sent out the calling card. So our infiltration route will need to be set in stone two days prior on June 2nd. Now listen here! We can't mess this up, no matter what, okay? Ah! Ah! No! Let me do some stuff, though. Okay. This is our first gr- Oh! This is the first job for the Grunchies, so let's make sure we do it right. Come on, it's time to get the mission started. Yes! The mission to change Madarame's heart has begun. Oh, thank God. I got. I have 18 days to steal this heart. Occasionally, you will encounter palace obstacles that are impassable and require interacting with the target in the real world. You will need to leave the palace to find the obstruction. Enter palaces quickly to find obstacles and trap over challenges. So yeah. No. Huh? No, 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 no. I don't want to go in today, or not yet. I need to go to. I need to go here. I need to go. No. I need to go to. Uh. I need to go to the. No, where is it? Where's the weapon shop? The airsoft gun? Or air shop? Airsoft shop? Whatever that is. Oh, here we go. With the creepy music. Okay. <sighs> you again. Are you gonna try and sell me something weird again? Hey! That modified gun should be a powerful weapon to use during palace battles. Let's ask him about it, what's inside the bag. Don't freak out, Azero. Just ask him. Ugh. I could ask him if I had dauntless guts. I know Come I don't. On. Should we not? I'm not gutsy enough, Morgana. Shut up. Hey, you gonna buy some? Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna sell though. Okay. Sell all the treasure. Look at that. I get thirty-two thousand from that. You should be grateful. Oh yeah. Okay. Tell me you have new stuff, all right. dude. Sounds good. Ooh, he does. Am I? Have, I wonder if I have enough to afford all this. Okay, this should be nice. Use it to pull a prank. Sweep it. Sell the silver dagger. Okay, get him. I already, I already got the heavy pipe. But this is way better. That's what your chose that. So, get that. Sell the heavy pipe. Morgana needs a sonic. No, he needs. She needs a the scimitar. 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 Mm, that one. Don't break it. Okay? Oh my God, my money is almost all gone. Sell. Oh, I just, oh, get her the goat leather whip. She's got the training whip. She's not training anybody. Now she's going to whip some ass with this. So let's get her this That's one. You're you better not use it to pull a prank. Sell the training whip. Hold on, I got more training whips to sell. Okay. I had like one more. Let's sell the health slugger. I guess that's fine. Sell the leather whip. You should be grateful. Sell the training whip. I guess that's fine. I don't know what that is, but sell that too. Should be grateful. And sell that. I guess that's fine. Do I have any armor to sell? Oh, I do. Where the hell did I get this one? That was a gold breastplate. Dark undershirt. Where did I get? All, where did I get this? Is that something I can equip? Well, that's 64. Oh. Better off sold than oh so oh so I can sell this. It's actually for selling. You should be grateful. Okay. 
magic camisole. No, oh, this is all crap. Yes, that's so, fine. You so should the be sweater. So that. Yes, that's fine. So that. You should be grateful. Um, burn tech. No, nope. I have two. Of them. I guess that's I'm fine. So I'm gonna. You should be grateful. Them. I don't want to sell any of that. Okay. Now, do I have enough all to right. buy everyone something good? Did I get? Okay, got her that. All right, okay. let's get the range weapons. All right, which one? Okay, I get the riot police gun. Mm, you like it? Sell that. The beyond. What the hell are these names? That's what you're choosing. Don't break right. it, okay? Get him the sea bass gun. Uh, get her the mountain. Mm, that one. How's yeah. that? Oh, that might get barely enough. That's what you're choosing. You better not use it to pull a prank. All the time again. Okay. I don't think I'm gonna have enough to buy armor though. All right. Sounds good. Oh no, the cosmic undies. They're twelve thousand. I need money. No. Okay. Well, you know what? Come again. All right, let's go. Let's go to our hideout. We gotta get in there. We we gotta get in there. Where's my, where's the hideout? Oh, it's over there. Let, let's go in because I need money. And I, like, I know that I have to go in. I'm going to get to a blockade where I can't get past. It's going to make me go into the real world. So you can't get through this whole dungeon in one go. So let's infiltrate okay, the palace. Let's go. We need to get as far as we can. I'm sure you already know this, but the first thing we need to do is secure an infiltration route. Then we send the calling card. Yeah, yeah, we know the drill. Anyway, let's get ready. Yeah, I'm ready. Everybody's ready. Everyone has the weapon. Everything. I just I need armor though. I haven't un I haven't unlocked. Ooh, hold on. Somewhere. How did I miss that? It's somewhere. Oh, the, the things I broke before are still broken. Oh crap, there's enemies here. Wait, no, there's not. Oh wait, yeah, there is. Wait, is that just down there? What is that? That went to nowhere. Oh, okay, those, oh, those enemies, I thought those were enemies I could actually fight. Get in there. Time to rob this museum. <gasps> There's traps here. Whoa! Wait, Joker! It's an infrared laser device. If we touch it, the security level will increase. Hold on. Wasn't there anything like this the last time, though? The rumors might slowly be making Madarami become more wary of us. Joker! They're not easy to see, but you should be able to do it with your skills. Be careful. Oh, so, yeah. So now I can. It can also be done by holding that one as you approach. Remember that you can. Yeah. So now I can slide. Wait. Oh, crap. There's people here. I can see it. The security guards now. Show me your true Reveal form. yourself. I feel like you're getting sick, really? Oh, I'm sorry, bro. No weaknesses I can see. Oh, I don't want the McCoy. Garu. So scary how good I am. Well, I'm gonna kill this one. So I get the experience. Oh wait, I have Garu. Someone I know has Garu. The little paper guy, Kodama. Kodama! Get out here, dude! Use your paper wind magic! That was incredible, Joker! Ooh, oh, wait, before you shoot, state your demands. That's before you shoot! Uh I don't want you, but lend me your power. Are you a human? If you are, then you should understand me, right? Alright, let's calm down and talk. Take a deep breath and listen well. What if I was a human? Then what you're doing. Well, it'd be a criminal act. Shh. That... 
that can't be true. So that's a 0% chance that this is a crime. I'm not sure you can really prove that. Hey, if it's not a bother, would you tell me something? What did you want coming all the way to a place like this? Slaughter. Oh, thrilling adventure. I see. <laughs> well, there are things you need before embarking on an adventure. That's the sort of person you really are. Well, I'll take this and call it even. What? Goodbye. Wait, what? 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 No! Get back here! Hmm. Why didn't he become my persona? He ran away! You whore! Alright. Oh no. Uh, oh! Shit! Oops! I, oh, I didn't see the thing until it was too late. Oh, god dang it. Oh, hey, it's Pixie. Well, I didn't get McCoy, but I'll get this one. Alright, we're well, going to ask you this, but just do what you do to wait. Just what do you plan to do? Lend me your power, girl. Oh so you want to talk, but we don't each we don't each hold on. We don't know each other very well after all. Jeez. Look, does it say that I was in the wrong, alright? So will you come down already? You know, if you're willing to let this go, I'll make it worth your while. Uh, was my while? Um. You tell me. Oh, interested? You're a boy after all. You have to put away that gun if you want your treat. Um. I can't believe that I got led around this far by a man. Is there a reason why you just I just can't beat you? Uh, I totally got cool power. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Why is that an option? Sure, I've got girl power. Why not? <laughs> oh, she loved it. Isn't it rare for a man to have so much girl power? Well, I guess it's not impossible. Ooh, Ooh tastes actually match. Hmm. Wait, I remember something. I am oh my god, you're so no, hot. I'm gonna join you now. I'm cool pow. This is the start of our very long, awesome, sexy friendship. <laughs> Oh god, I feel in my mask. That's a new one, isn't it? Oh, oh, McCoy was bigger level than me? Really? Confusion level is like really low. I thought that he would be someone I can already get. Okay. Oh. Wait, there's another. I have something. There's an oh crap, did I miss? Let me make sure I didn't miss any treasure I can destroy. It's somewhere. Nope. It's somewhere. Uh oh. Well, at least the alarm didn't go off. <gasps> I'm sorry! I know what you're weak to. Okay. Okay, I need to get up sorry. I know his weakness. She's ice, therefore she's weak to fire. Angel, where are you, girl? Let me see. Wait, okay, there she is. Angel, use fire, girl. What? She's not weak to fire? Oh, she's weak to electricity? Really? I'm on guard. Oh, what? Did I just pick... Or... No! Yeah. Nice. No! I'm sorry! Yeah. No! Victory! No, I actually wanted that persona. All right. God dang it. You didn't even break a sweat. Uh, take that, you freaking sculptures. Uh. Where's that guy? I know there's a guy here. Where is he? It's right there. If I go for that, will he get me? Maybe not, maybe if I get it while he's turned around. Okay, city kettle. No, I don't want McCoy. Screw McCoy. 
Screw it. Uh, uh. Oh, he's oh he's freaking out. No, give me your power then. It's reassuring that you get what I'm saying. Yes, we both thought the same thing. Oh, I got him. See, there you go. I just had to beat him up a little bit. That's a new one, isn't it? I need to actually go register him so I can get him out of my team because. I actually want to get up Saurus. Okay. Okay, I got the rating. <sighs> Perfect. These lasers are freaking. I can feel it. Oh god, there's so many laser beams. I have something. <laughs> I have something. Huh, screw your stuff. <sighs> what was this? Huh. Can I go in there? Let's see. Oh, I can feel it. Oh, shortcut. Ah! Oh shit! Oh god dang it! I didn't see it until it was too late. Got a little ahead of myself. Somewhere. God dang it! No, 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 no! I can me. feel it. Oh god, they're, they're, they're way too close to each other. Oh, he saw me! What? Oh crap! You better make this good. She's watching. Cause I'm about to freaking. Uh. Nope, you're dead. I should see what item they could give me. But I'd rather just destroy them. That is until I get to, if I find up Saurus again, I need to actually get right. her. But I actually would they like to nothing. find a save room first. Actually, you know what? I'm right here. Where's focus? Okay, there it is. I'm actually close to the exit, so I'm gonna go outside really quick. Where's the thing? Where's the I have something? It's right here. How come I can't go outside? Oh, cause the rope. Oh god dang it, I have to go all the way around to get outside. Can I just jump down from here? Ah oh, crap. Alright, hold on. Let's go. Let's go all the way back. It's not too far. Let's go deposit these personas. See what I can Oh. Huh. See what I can tr uh, fuse them into to make some room. I didn't reach level 16 yet, so I can't can't really fuse um, what I wanted to last time because I'm still not that level. You know, I can still make it to the velvet room. Wait, how do I get up? Oh. Do you need something? Yes, I need to see. Yes, I need to talk to Igor for a second. I wonder what happens when I go in here. Like, they're just like, "Hey, where are you going, dude?" And then I just, I'm just standing there, staring at the ground for like <laughs> a while. Oh crap! Oh, he's asking me questions. You must surely be accustomed to a Patrician palaces by now. Yeah, somewhat. Regardless, you have yet to obtain a truly acceptable number of personas. This is not the full potential of the power of the wild card. I suppose this is a prime opportunity to help you further your rehabilitation along. Don't worry, the assignment is not mandatory. Think of it almost as a test of strength. Yeah, whatever. Now, we ask you, have you bring us the mask we specify? Huh. You gotta show us the persona we asked for, inmate. First off, we would like you you to bring us a jack for. I got that. <sighs> That's too easy, Justine. Should just it should be a challenge. Hmm, I wanted to have Mabufu too. I do, I do, he inmate. does. I do. You got that inmate? Bring us a Jack Frost with Mabufu. I got it, I got Farewell. that. 
Very well. We ask for Jack Frost and Mabufu. Please speak to us again when you have it. I do. This will not be mandatory for your rehabilitation, but you will be handsomely rewarded for it. <laughs> I encourage you to at least try your hand at this. Yes, I got oh. that. Oh? Hmm? That persona? Hey, sit right there! I got it. I already have it. It seems you brought the specified persona. Booyah! Huh. Fine, I'll take it. Oh, you better not take it from me, though. By the way, your personas are super weak. Not that I'm surprised, inmate. Shut up, Caroline. Though I guess you deserve at least some praise for finishing your penal labor. You might actually complete your rehabilitation. What about my penal? In order to promote that process, we would like to offer you the use of a new facility. Ooh. <laughs> it's rare to see you smile, Justine. You are the smiling one, Caroline. Did something happen to make you so joyful? Is this my first Persona game? No. No. I've played Persona 3, Persona Portable, Persona 4, Persona 4 Golden. I played everything after Persona 3. I Yeah. Persona 3 was my first game. And I do own Persona 1 and 2. Um, I, I tried Persona 2 a little bit. It's okay. But I don't think Persona got really, really good until Persona 3. Me? Hey, are you laughing at us? Yes. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. Know your place, inmate. Shut up, Caroline. Shut up. As wardens, we simply feel satisfaction in seeing your rehabilitation progress. That is the extent of it. I find it upsetting that you would see such a matter as a source of amusement. It's like you forget where you are, inmate. You got some real guts, though. With that spirit, you should have no trouble making progress. Very well, then. If you have the will to continue your penal labor, we can grant you greater freedom within this prison. It is a deal between us, the wardens, and you, the inmate. Not like you have the right to turn it down, though. Hard work is what you're meant to do, inmate. Ah, oh, I've made a deal with Caroline and Justine. Ah, I feel power. I, am thou, I feel it flowing thou through me. I, thou hast acquired a new vow. It shall become the wings of rebellion that breaketh thy chains of captivity. With the birth of the strength persona, I have obtained the winds of blessing that shall lead to freedom and new power. Who is speaking? It would have been cooler if they got the voice of our sin to do that. I am thou, and thou art I. I am the cool voice of this game. Group guillotine allows you to fuse all oh, three personas. All right. Now, it's time for your next task. Okay, what is it? I had the first one ready to go. Farewell. You request a Shisa with the fire fray. Or the skill fray. Please come talk to this one. Okay. Hey. You get how to do it. Stop wasting time, inmate. Just hurry up and finish the task at hand, inmate. Oh, I should have said inmate. It said way too much. Okay, whatever. Do you have this? Yes, I do. Shut up and let me register my persona. You, have you want to register it? You'd like yes, to register this? All of this? them. Yes, I'd like to register this. Yes, I do. Stop saying register. The inmate. Let's execute him. I want a normal fusion. fusion. You okay with this? What? Oh god, that thing makes Oh god, it's an onion. It's a weird demonic baby onion and it's so gross looking. Ah! But it has mudo. Let me see what I can <gasps> Lilum? I see Lilum there. I just saw it. Where is it? Oh, that's level Excessive 32. Power only leads that's to like if Succubus evolved into a hotter form. Um let me see. What can I actually do? I can't actually do any of these right now. Well, this is a Shisa. Excessive power. But it wouldn't have. It wouldn't have Frey. I need to find a persona with Frey. Oh, the voice has a purpose. Yeah, okay. Yeah, don't say much. Let's see. It kind of sounds like Justine or Caroline. Sounds like one of them. 
Um, I can't make any of these except for let's just make this nasty freaking okay onion. Ugh. The skills you'd like to inherit. Oh, Tarokaja. It will receive a fraction of power. What? Wait, hold on. What if I? No, never mind. What if I got Augie? It will receive. Oh, we'll learn Pupilina. Okay, never mind. Let's get it will Tarakaja. receive a fraction of power. There you go. <laughs> I see. God, I don't like the disgusting onion thing. <laughs> That's the voice I'm giving. I will be your mess, mister. <laughs> that is might as well haunt my nightmares. Ugh, the whole the moon. Alright. Okay. Learn Augie. No. What am I doing? Okay, I need to get rid of him because he's grossing me out. <gasps> yes! I will make up Saurus! I won't capture her. I'll just innate. make her. I have way too many ice. Like, seriously. Like, Angel has Bufu. Jack has Bufu. And I think... I think Genbu has it, too. Yeah, he has Bufu, too. God, I have everything with Bufu. I need to make some... Ooh, what's, what's this I one? See. A strong what is persona that? Indeed. It has Frey. It has Frey. It has, it has nuclear. But who do I have to give up? I have to give up. Okay, that's Looks that's fine. I'll, I'll sacrifice this to get the fray. Choose the inherited skills, inmate. Ooh, ooh, ooh! Two skills. I guess Garu and Mudo, since its I don't have anything with Garu. Will be nothing really. unusual. Okay, I don't have it yet, but whatever. Girls, let us begin. Yes. Murder my personas to create the new one. Oh, it's like the paper dog. It's like the paper thing. Me, Mikami. Me may be your mask and how about enemies? Ah. Okay. Now. Oh, so see, that's what I would need. I would need to do that. And then I can give it Frey. Okay, so I need I need to keep Mikami and Jack Frost. And that'll give me the, the next thing for their, their request. Okay. I can't form it to Matador, Shisa. Nope. Okay. Are you finished? That's it. I'm good. No slacking off. Alright, it's time for us to go back into the we need to save it though. Let's do it. 